We're halfway there. Okay. Uh, season changes. Uh, season of new affixes. The BFA season three. Beguiling. Okay. Tournament placement. Uh, first place, you get 210 points and you win $6,000. Six thousand. So, if you take six thousand and you divide it by five, that's twelve hundred dollars. So you take twelve hundred dollars and you cut it in half because that's basically what your taxes are going to be, in including prize winnings. Maybe a little bit less than that. You're coming home with the McDonald's cashier's check. Woohoo! Wow! Great! Yo, so remember, whenever somebody wins MDI, just ask them if you can get fries with that, okay? Because it's basically the same thing. I, I, this is this is insane. Hey, Blizzard, give me a fucking break. Are you fucking serious? But that's if you win. Uh, that's the It's Cup, not MDI. Uh, they need to put in more money for this, man. Like, here's what I think Blizzard should do. In the interest of the players, Blizzard should, Blizzard should integrate... I don't want to listen to this song. I'm not feeling... I'm not feeling it. Blizzard should introduce sponsors for these different events. The sponsors will pay a lot of money to be on the events, and then they can take that money and put it into the prize pools. There is no law, there is no Ten Commandments rule that says that the uh, these events can't be sponsored. Why would they not sponsor them? Here's what they're doing with money. They're taking a dollar bill. I don't have a dollar bill. Please donate. Um, okay, I don't have a dollar. It's over there. It's, it's out of reach. I'm not going to go. But let, let's say, like, you have a dollar bill, and then you light it on fire. And then you don't have the dollar bill anymore because you lit it on fire. It's gone. So, you're taking the money, and you're wasting your, mo you're wasting your money. Like, I mean, all they have to do is just get sponsors in here. It's so fucking easy. Just get the sponsors. Uh, let me see if I can log back on here, if this is going to be back on. Uh, I checked Dota 2 International Prize Pool. It's funded by the players. Well, that's the thing, is I'm not really sure, um... Like, when are they going to tell everybody how much money they've made with those toys? Because we've been waiting to see that for a while. Because they added the toys into the store in order to fund the MDI and the arena tournaments. And I want to know how much money that's going to be. Because let's say, alright, let's do some maths here, alright? Let, let's, let's do numbers. Brain magic. Okay, so the toys are $10. So obviously 25% of $10 would be $2.50. So let's assume that how many people probably bought the toys? Let's say 100,000 people bought the toys. Maybe, you know what, let's go with 200,000 people. Uh, so 200,000 people, that is uh, 200,000, 250,000, that's $500,000. So um, let's see, so $500,000 that they can put towards this. And $500,000... You split that in half. You just cut it straight in half. Like half for the arena term, half for the arena team, half for the uh, uh, the MDI. So then you have $250,000. If you just simply take the 250,000 people, uh, Bobby takes half. No, Bobby takes 75%. And I'm talking about the 25% because $10 is going to be 2 guy, right? So uh, you multiply that by 200,000. That's going to be 500,000. Then you divide that in two. It's obviously two point, uh, it's a quarter of a mil. And then you're going to kind of distribute that between the players. If they did that and they sold, let's say, 200,000 units... And they, they, they had it the exact same way, right? And they'd obviously have, like, certain other charges, too. So that's, like, also profit. So what, what they're talking about is, like, money that they make. Whenever they sell it for $10, they might not necessarily be saying that the entire $10 of the sale, the sale price is going to completely go, and 20, 25% of the ad is going to go towards the uh, the payment. They could also be saying that 25% of the profit that they're able to make is going towards the payment, so that would actually be, like, more like $8 or something like that. So, yeah, service are up. Uh, I'll, I'll try to log on again. The point that I'm making, the point that I'm making is that that would actually make the tournaments viable. That would make... The, they're, they're not available. Um, it would make the tournaments viable alternatives for people and allow people to invest more time into the events. Mythic Plus... Blizzard... Blizzard doesn't know what they're doing with Mythic Plus. 
They don't. They don't know what they're doing with Mythic Plus. They don't know what they're doing with Arena. They don't know what they're doing, period. They don't. Uh, I'm sorry, but they... Blizzard is listening to top 50 players, and they're killing the game because of it. They're listening to people that want to have every... They don't want to have gear in PvP. That's, that's They listen to those people in Legion. Where did that take us? Into the fucking ground. It sucks. Now, finally, 8.2 comes out. Blizzard finally decides, hey, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't listen to the top 0.001% of the player base in competitive activities and develop the entire game around their needs and wants. The issue is that the Mythic Plus gear is boring. Here's what they can do. Quick fix. Add a secondary... You know how you can get items that are like Warforged, uh, Time Warped, and everything like that? Add another uh, affix like Benthic gear. Add it, call it Beguiling. Make all the trinkets and weapon beguiling items, and some of the armor pieces as well. Give them additional affixes that work in Mythic Plus that allow you to build a piece of gear or gear set around that. That's simple. Uh, beguiling, yeah. And Mythic Mode isn't boring, what? Nobody does Mythic Mode. Nobody cares. Like, it, it, it's... Now more people are doing it, but that's what I think they should do. PvP only gear. More RNG? No, it would not be more RNG. It would be a... Each season, listen, each season, they should use the affix of the, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, of the seasonal affix in order to inspire them to create gear that works that way. Mythic dungeons are boring as fuck. They're not that exciting. Okay, let me just say that, alright? Uh, I don't know why this isn't working, I have no fucking idea why it's not working. Uh, it's still bugged out, I guess. It's kind of annoying, but there it is. Have you ever considered working for Blizzard on WoW? No, not really. I I'd rather stream, honestly. Uh, go back to BC Gearing. I think Gearing and Burning Crusade was the best state that Gearing has been in in a long time. Uh, personally. Now, obviously, uh, everybody has a different opinion on this kind of stuff, but, uh, to me, obviously, I, I, I think that it is the best way, right? Uh, Burning Crusade Gearing was superior. And I'd like to see them stick out with that. Uh, that's pretty much what I would prefer to see. Okay, uh, so that's pretty much how I look at it. Uh, stop trying to make an MMORPG in eSport. Well, the thing is, like, you can make... that. What they need to do is they just need to make specific rules for the eSport version of the game. It's not complicated. You just make certain rules just for the eSport version of the game, and then it's not going to be a problem. Uh, y you don't have to change the entire game to reinforce that. Uh, servers up, we're doing- oh! Okay, alright, we're gonna see what's gonna happen here. Uh, just give me a second, let me minimize this real quick. Okay, retrieving Realmless, let's see, we're gonna try to log back on, we'll see what happens here, guys. Uh, did you see Rich is gonna host the Dota tournament? Yeah, I knew. Yeah, I knew. Uh, okay. We're offline. Uh, well, whenever we get online, we'll get back on. Uh, look at Wendy's tweet. Spicy Nuggets on Monday. Oh, I've fucking known that, dude. Of course I know that. I want an RBG tournament. Well, the thing is, like, an RBG tournament would be much more exciting for players than watching another arena tournament. Arena tournaments are boring. Like, that's really all there is to it. They're just boring. Uh, there's... The, it, it's, it's, it's only accessible by other high-end players. Uh, most other people don't understand it. The meta of the game of just killing the other team is boring. Uh, there's no secondary objectives that more casual players can keep track of. And so it's very hard for anybody to really get into it. So, the, the test tab is new? Yeah, there is a test tab. Blomo, right there. Uh, RP, PvP, I'm not sure if I can get on that. Uh, RBGs are boring. RBGs can be boring, but I'm pretty sure RBGs are just as boring as arenas are. Uh, so here's the way I look at it, right? Current day WoW Arena is literally PvE content for PvPers. No, it's not. Um, but anyway, here's why, here's why, like, some games, they, they have, like, a certain level of accessibility to, like, to, like, outside players. It's like, if I'm watching a Capture the Flag game, I know, basically, what the win condition is, even without having any knowledge of the game. And that is a window inside of, okay, this is the way the game works, right? And I can see the flag moving back and forth. The only real correlation you can have to WoW PvP is that you're just seeing health bars going up and down. That's basically it. And you know that if somebody dies, it's over. Uh, there's never any turnarounds, really, unless you're counting people that are using CDs and, uh, you know, not dying. Like, there's never a time where 
there's like a 2v3 and the other the 2v3 team wins right the team with two wins it almost never happens in, in rbgs you have a lot more the, the issue also with rbgs is you also have a lot more like problem with like kind of steamrolling and uh you know uh i guess like just like snowballing basically and uh, i think that is a big issue that rbgs have but i think that they should focus more on doing other types of pvp content that have secondary objectives be besides just team deathmatch because i think it's more understandable for a viewer that that's really all i'm trying to say uh yeah oh yeah this song dude i remember i used to listen to this song playing magic the gathering in my card shop god damn dude those were the fucking days they were beautiful Mm. Okay. As low as the dungeons coming up, I'm not sure whenever they're gonna come up. We'll find it out soon. Your card shop? What well, wasn't my card shop? It was the card shop that I went to. Uh, I went there all the fucking time. A Blizzard created character of anyone else on Barov? Uh, I don't know. I think that we were playing on Statlag. I don't know who the fuck was playing on that other server, but I'm sure there probably are some of them. Uh, servers are up. I'm in. Relog. Okay, I'll relog. Why not? Fuck it. Let's try it again. No reason not to. I better not be put in a queue, man. If I get put in a queue... Okay. 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 Got it. That's great. Okay, just a second. Is there anything in, is there interest anything interesting looking at on YouTube? I'm pretty sure like we've looked at a lot of videos. I I looked at pretty much all the videos that I wanted to look at the other day. Let's see, some questions, gear. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no like new classic videos. Uh, let me see here. Uh, watch Seth Idubs video. The Idub isn't the Idubs video like 50 minutes long though. I'm pretty sure I don't want to do that right now. Do some guild apps. I don't want to deal with guild apps, man. There's just so many of them. It's like really hard for me to like deal with it. Uh, pull out the 